So the time has come to harvest the maize morado. I'm a little concerned that I should have done that a couple weeks ago. Um, I thought that I would just let the corn dry on the stalk because it's a corn that we want to use dried. Um, but I'm realizing that might not have been the best idea. Um, I'm also a little worried because it looks like some of the ears are kind of deformed. Instead of having silk come out the ends, they look like they had tassels come out the ends. So I don't know what will have happened there. So I'm going to harvest a few and open them up and take a look and show you what they look like inside. And um, hopefully it won't be quite as big of a disaster as I think it's going to be. So here's one of those ears that I'm saying looks kind of deformed. You can see up here on the top how instead of silk it has what looks like another tassel. And um, I might need to put the camera down and use two hands to harvest these. There's, there's that one, there's, there's one on the stock up here, there's a few of them I'm going to harvest and see what we got inside. So I had to take a little video of this uh, ear of corn before I harvested it. I think this one might be the most deformed looking one. This is actually an ear of corn coming off of the corn plant. Uh, with then some sort of genetic variation that's turned it into some sort of palm tree. So here we have what I believe is going to be the entire harvest of the maize morado. Um, and I have my, my son's lovely blue Minecraft sword here to point out. Uh, so these ones in this area are all what I would guess to just be generally odd and not great. Um, you can even see on this one here how instead of uh, tassels at the top it has I'm sorry instead of silk it has tassels at the top um, this corn up here at the top this is the one that I think is most likely to have good corn inside uh, it has actual tassels that have browned it's plumped up a bit um, and when I pulled it off the plant uh, it snapped very nicely when I disconnected it from the stalk and then over here we have um, the strange uh, changeling that um, looks like it was a corn and now has turned into some sort of palm tree. So I'd say this one's the, the least likely to give us any good corn. So I am going to set the camera up now so you can see me open them up. All right, so the plan I had for showing the unwrapping really didn't work, but um, I've unwrapped the first ear and uh, I couldn't hold the camera at the same time. I needed both hands. So this was the ear that had tassels coming up the top, and I, I didn't think there would be anything inside, but there actually is this small ear of corn in here, and I think it would have been better if I harvested it a bit sooner. It's certainly past the, the stage when we would want to eat it fresh, um, but for drying it, um, I think it'll work just fine. So I'm going to clean it up here and, and set it aside for drying. Before I got uh, to that corn though, what I, what I came across was these beautiful corn husks and I thought even if you're not going to get any ears of corn out of it, these corn husks are amazing. And I, I pulled aside some of these super dark ones. I'm going to dry them and hang on to them and when it comes time to dye eggs in the spring, I'm going to see if they work as a natural dye for eggs. And I also was thinking that this one, um, I was noticing it was dyeing my gardening gloves as I was opening it up. Um, I might take it now and just wrap uh, it around an egg while it's still soft and see if it will dye stripes onto the eggs. That could be really beautiful. So uh, it's a craft project, even if it's not necessarily the best culinary result. So anyway, that's the first year, one down. We got mm, one, two, three, four, five, six to go. So I better get peeling. Okay, so here we have the second ear I'm opening and uh, it looked like it didn't even have any tassels. It looked like it just had, um, or I'm sorry, any silk. It looked like it had tassels coming up the top. And then when I started opening it, I realized it had all these dark tassels. So I hope I didn't do this prematurely. So let's peel this back. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> we have corn kernels and they are fresh still. So we didn't have very many that developed. Uh, it looks like if I had not harvested this, it would have developed a lot more. That's kind of sad. Well, we'll have a few to try fresh and a uh, learning experience for next year. All right, so these are the results of all those months of hard work. Um, I have one, uh, two, three, four, five ears to show for it. 
Only one of them is actually the length of a normal ear of corn. Um, as you can see, all of them are not really completely developed. And on some of them, I think that more time would have allowed them to become completely developed, but um, not really the case on most of them. Uh, this one's my personal favorite. As you can see, it's got a little, let's see, it's put in front of something green. Yes, it's got a little antenna on top. Yep. Um, it's the narwhal corn. Uh, this is the one that uh, came from the cob uh, that looked the most normal. That one right here. As you can see, it's mm, just as messed up as all of its little friends. Um, and the one that came from the really crazy one that looked like palm frond had absolutely nothing inside it at all. So that's the verdict. And um, while this might look like a huge disappointment and a waste of, let's see, what is it? Mid-August now, and I started in mid-February. Uh, so March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months of, of work and care. Um, I, I don't see it that way. I'm going to dry these. I'm going to use them to uh, make some delicious chichamarada. And uh, I'm going to use these corn husks to dye some eggs. And um, will I try again next year? I probably won't. I probably won't in this yard. I think I will try growing this corn again when I have an adequate garden space to grow a big enough patch that does not require hand pollination because I think that the problem with a lot of these ears is they just didn't get pollinated adequately. And I tried with the hand pollination, but um, it's not quite as easy as one would, would like you to believe. So that's the end of the maize morado experiment here in Portland, Oregon.